Here we go, guys. Soup's back here with another video. Uh, we're gonna do a quick video today, and we're gonna out here at the fire pit in the backyard, but uh, where it's actually locked down at the moment, so we can't really go out and do too much, but we figured we might as well do something around the fire as a family. But uh, we're gonna show you a uh, cool cooking recipe. And I'm uh, gonna do some fire starting methods. I'm gonna introduce you to my fire starter packs that I've got going. So uh, without further ado, we'll run the intro and then uh, we'll come back to you very shortly. <laughs> guys back again uh, so all right so i was going to show you the uh outdoor survival kit that i've made it's a hooper's mayhem fire starter uh survival kit so i just wanted to give you a bit of a glimpse so i'm going to start selling these on my uh youtube channel so if you want to purchase one you let me know but uh still a work in progress but it'll be soon anyway or without further ado i'll give you a bit of a, a little look at what's inside these little packs <clears throat> first off we've got our fire striker and I uh, 3D printed a nice little handle for it to uh, you to be able to hold it a bit better. <clears throat> um, second item in here, which is a good one to have uh, for obviously just to have as your backup, but it's a, a lighter. And I've just got a little safety cap on the top, which I 3D printed as well, just to stop it from leaking out any gas into your container. So that's uh, another little item for fire starting. I've got a uh, just a little bit of tinder and stuff like that in here too, which is this one here is just a roll of uh, jute twine. So you fluff that up and you'll be able to get a light from that one. Now uh, this is another one that I 3D printed. And it's a water sealed container. It's just a, uh, a drink bottle lid. But what, a, what it is inside is uh, all the matches. So you got a whole bunch of matches inside the container and then on the, the lid is the striker so that fits in there quite nicely there's about 20 odd matches in there probably more uh, second one number one is a emergency whistle so like I said it is a survival one so you get a fire going you might be able to smoke signal but you also be able to whistle and I'll put a little rope on there so it can hang around your neck so just like that so that's the uh and I 3D printed that as well. So that's a survival whistle. I got the little striker for the ferro rod. And I got one of the little um, makeup pads with the Vaseline, uh, sorry, candle wax melted into it. So you'll scruff these up and uh, that'll take a flame really quickly as well, as long as the same as the jute twine. And then this little one, is my cotton wool bud and a Vaseline. So we are gonna do a video in a minute and a little bit of towel in to keep it all together, but you can use that too if you wanted. Uh, there will be other things thrown in this kit as well later, but at the moment that's what I've got. Uh, just fire starting stuff that so I'll get more into the survival, like maybe emergency mirror or you know something like that. A couple other little things as well, or I might scrap it and make the box bigger and make it a, a big one or do a small big version I don't know yet but we'll go but anyway we're gonna um do a video now and it's gonna be about um, making the Aussie damper so what I'm gonna do is first thing obviously is get this fire going so we've got a, uh, a heat source to cook this damper in so I've got myself a, um, a Dutch oven or a camp camp oven so cast iron pot with the lid on it and what you do is you get your fire going make it coals and uh, when the fire goes out and it's just coals you use the coals under the cast iron pot and on top and you put your material uh, your ingredients inside and that'll cook your bread or your uh, damper but yeah we'll, we'll go inside and we'll uh, show you how to make the recipe and we're gonna also light the fire now because uh, we've got to get this fire going so we can cook the damper later on so we'll uh, I'll spin you in here in a minute and we'll get this fire going and I'll do it with uh, the cotton wool buds and the little ferro rod that I've got given given in the way in the uh, little fire starter pack.
All right, did you see that? First first strike, boom, straight away. So these uh, cotton wool buds do work really good. And the fire striker as well, you can see there, it's the first scratch on it. And it lit that cotton wool straight away. So now I'm just gonna keep this going and uh, keep checking up on it. And I wanna get this burned down to coals. So we'll uh, keep an eye on it. And then I'll uh, take in shortly and we'll go and make the damper and I'll show you how to prep this uh, Dutch oven as well. It needs to, to be greased up as well. So we'll keep going, so cool. Now we just got to sit back and wait and uh, let that all burn down. You can see I put a fair bit of wood on there now just to get through it and that should give us a good decent uh, coal bed. So once that's uh, all down the coals we'll uh, be able to put the, the uh, Dutch oven on. Alright you can see there I've got my uh, Dutch oven. You can tell it's a camp oven but uh, this is just a U-Butte cheap, well not cheap but uh, just an Oz. Oz Trail brand. You can see the lip here on around the edge, which is perfect because you can sit your coals on the top and you can actually still open your lid without dropping any of the ash or anything like that on your bread. Uh, what I'm doing right now is actually just heating these up, uh, getting them reasonably warm, and then I'm going to uh, what's called season them. So basically, I'm going to rub in oil all the way around the outsides uh, on the inside of the pot, and same as the lid, just to. Uh, coat it with some oil and all I've got at the moment is uh, spray oil but that's perfectly fine so I'll just get it warm and um, we'll get on to seasoning these Like I said, I'm just going to use the uh, canola spray and it's just some paper towel. I'll spray it on and then I'll just give it a good wipe over on the actual uh, camp lid. <clears throat> So we're going to um, give it a spray on the top as well, just to clean it, clean it right off. So this is going to get caked in ash anyway, but just uh, cleans up the rust. It's been sitting in the bag for a while. So that one's pretty good. I'll just give it one more spray. Perfect. We're going to just sit it next to the fire so that way when we're ready to go these will be nice and warm and already preheated.
pretty good. I'm not too worried about the, the bottom because that's going to be sitting in the coals. But that's uh, seasoned. <clears throat> you also see that this is, um, you probably can't see, but this is actually a 4.5 quarts uh, camp oven. It's the, more the medium medium range ones. You can get 12 quarts and all the way down to a couple. So this is uh, in the, in, right in the middle range, perfect for doing dampers. All right, we're just gonna leave them there to heat up and uh, we'll go in and start prepping up the dough. All right guys, I just wanted to give you a quick shout out. It's gonna be the first of many, but uh, it's for the guys that makes this. His uh, name's uh, Dwayne, so he's uh, from Big Fella Industries. And I'll leave a link in the description for the uh, his website where you can go and get all his products. He not only does these sorts of things, but he does t-shirts and you know him. He does it. Uh, he makes all these designs, and yes, you can see they're really, really cool. And it's got on it here the big fella on the thing. But yeah, go and check out his website and uh, check him out on his Instagram as well. I'll leave, like I said, I'll leave the the links. But these things are really, really handy. Um, what you can do is you can use. You don't just have to keep it on your face. You can wear it over the top of your head. But my, I like mine because I go out in the bush a lot and uh, get uh, sunburn and mosquitoes as well so it actually protects my face once I've got my hat on uh, it's pretty much just my eyes but it's really good but yeah I also wrap it up and uh, fold it up and wrap it up and uh, chuck it around my wrist and then I can use that as sort of a, a like a towel or a tea towel sort of thing to pick up hot things yeah there's a big shout out anyway to uh, Dwayne from Big Fella Industries uh, like I said go and check out his uh, website and yeah check out his cool stuff that he's got so this, I'll leave some pictures now as well of some of his uh products so he's like t-shirts and a few other things so go check them out hey guys it's jackie kai and jarvis here and tonight i'm going to be cooking a chicken vegetable pasta bake from scratch homemade of course and stephen being the bushman he is wanted to add a complimentary side which is damper cooked on the campfire um, because we're in lockdown at the moment in perth we are unable to do it as a campfire out camping as we had actually hope to do so we're using our fire pit in the backyard and making the best of the situation yep so i am here guys just so you know i'm behind the camera and uh yeah you can't see me but i just wanted to uh do this video and give uh give the boys the opportunity to actually make it themselves this time instead of me always doing it but i'm going to go through the ingredients really quickly so we've got milk uh we've got what else we got self-raising flour jars We've got a bowl, yep. Uh, we've got salt, which we're actually gonna use a Himalayan salt, because we like that, and we have baking powder. So it is, like I said, it's a really simple, simple uh, uh, in, um, recipe, and yeah, we're gonna show you. But you also notice too, by the way, guys, is Jarvis is actually sitting down. Does uh, you two wanna explain yeah, so the reason Jarvis, being? Jarvis is sitting down because he has had a scooter accident and he's managed to fracture his bone in his leg. <laughs> yeah, so you've got crutches and a moon boot at the moment, don't you, Jav? Crutches and yeah. sitting in the chair with a moon boot at the moment. Yeah, so he's in a bit of world of pain at the moment, but he's uh, in high spirits, which is good. So we're going to get him to do uh, some of it and Kai to do some as well. So first things first is our self-raising flour. What we want to do is measure up uh, six cups, and we hope we've got enough of this flour here. Uh, to make six cups, we should do, but if not, yeah. we will make do like we always do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got some in the cupboard. So yeah, we want to measure out six cups of self-raising flour. You ready, son? Chuck it over the top. Give it a good tap. That's it. Yep. Yeah, that's nice enough. Oh, cool. Yep. One. Well done. How many cups? Six. There we go. Throw her in. That's Two. probably one on the bit. Maybe keep count for me because I'll probably yeah. forget. Yep. Yep, throw her in. Three. There she goes. Four. Four. Yep, that's oh, five. I think she's gonna make it yeah, I reckon, just. I reckon it's gonna be like one whole bag. Or yep, yeah, that'll do because you we went over that a bit. Cup full, that yeah, cup that was a cup full. Okay, so that's our six cups of self-raising flour. So I'm gonna get Kai to add now some pink Himalayan salt. Yep. Uh, the that's recipe. Yeah, the recipe says a pinch, so about a uh, about a teaspoon. So yeah. just give it, give it a few cracks, Kai. Do yeah. I do it in my hand? No, nah, just scratch no, it just into like it. Oh, okay. Yeah, like that. Just, 
Uh, one more. Oh, maybe one more. That's it. Yep, perfect. And we also want now one tablespoon of the baking powder. Yep. Yep. <laughs> the joys of cooking. Yep. Oh. <laughs> How many? Okay. And one tablespoon. And so right. no. uh, so a little bit less. Yeah. Shush it off a little bit. Uh, a little bit more. Yeah. No, I'm oh, sorry. Like less. take it off the thingy a little bit more. Yeah, just tap it. Oh, okay. Yep. yep that's that's it. it. Yeah, she'll do. Yeah, that's enough. Right. Yep. Now give that a stir up, Kai, whilst it's uh, all dry ingredients, and stir all of that salt and baking powder through with the rest of the ingredients. Do you think there'll be enough salt? Yeah, yeah. It only needs a teaspoon of salt. Nope. So it's no no big deal. Uh, the baking soda is baking powder is going to help it rise when it's in the Dutch oven. Mm. Uh, even though it is self raising flour anyway, it just gives it that extra rise from what I can gather. And obviously the other ingredient is milk. Milk. Uh, there's no specific amount for the milk, guys. So what we're going to do is just pour a little bit in at a time, and you sort of uh, you get the feel of the consistency. Uh, once it starts to be um, less sticky on your fingers, let's say. So once once we stir it up and you can yeah. put your hands in there and it doesn't stick to your fingers, um, that's the sort of the consistency, consistency that we want. Yeah, so, yeah. right, so give a... Uh, uh, yeah, you pour a little bit in and, on, and Kai, you take the bowl with the other hand and hold hold it. That's and plenty yeah. of jar. Yep, that's yep. It. Now stir it all through, keep stirring it through. Yep. Gonna need a lot of milk. Yeah, keep going with the milk jar. Yeah, pour all that. Starting to get more thicker. All right, so just stir yeah. that right through as much as you can. Yep. Not yet, Jar. We don't. We don't. You can, once it is, um, once you get to the consistency, if it ends up being too sticky, you can always add flour. So it's not going to matter. I mean, we did just use the last of the flour, but I, like I said, I'm pretty, <laughs> pretty <laughs> sure. Either we're going to get it perfect, or we've got a little bit of flour in the cupboard. I'm pretty sure we do. Yeah. So yeah, add a little bit more milk, Jav. Yep. Might go get the flour tin out here. Yeah. Yeah, you can do. Just get it ready, just in case we need it. So Jack's going to get some more flour. Uh, yeah, add a little bit more in, Jav. A little bit more, but yep, that's uh, two, two, basically two cups of flour. I mean milk. Um, <laughs> So yeah, just give it a good stir, Kai. Mm -hmm. yet, I don't think it needs any more water at the mo uh, milk at the moment. No, nah, we'll just stir just keep stirring it through. And uh, I reckon whack, chuck your hands in it. And not yet, it. no, no. I you do it with a spoon first, and then we'll once it's uh, ready, we will get the uh, start kneading it, and then we'll so no then you can get your hands. Not at the moment. No, at the we'll moment. just let him get that all that can ingredients you see through. Those little, uh, like little parts of flour here. They're yeah. retaining the water, so the more you stir it, the more it's going to actually yeah. Um, yeah. make so more of a dough. It is still really dry at the moment, so yep, just keep keep uh, stirring it all the way through, Kai. Yep. Yeah. Jackie reckons use your hands. Nah, not yet. We will soon. You can get your hands in on it soon. Maybe a wooden spoon might be better. Yeah, yeah maybe. And all right, Jarvis, just add a tiny bit more milk for him, please. Just a tiny bit, like a quarter of that. Yep. Good job. Here you go, try that. That might be a little yeah. bit yeah. more efficient. Yeah, I'd pretty yep. much want Just scrape all that off and then That's it. stir it through yep. the. Cheers. We'll go on to something else. It's all learning. These yep. guys can make this at home along with us if you like. So stir it through, Kai, not push it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. All right, we're good to go. So, yep, we're going to uh, add a little bit more milk jar, mm -hmm. just a tiny bit, please. Yep. Alrighty. The consistency is starting to. They're um, starting to bind together. Yeah, so, so it's just we, very difficult, especially. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's very yeah. thick. Yeah. So we're just using little amounts of milk now, just to try and bind it together. Yeah. Well, it looks a bit. It looks pretty tough, hey, now, Kai. Do yeah. You stir. Yeah. So it needs still needs more milk. But yeah, throw some more in. Just job. a little bit, Jav. Like the rest. Yeah, the rest of it, I reckon, and that's probably almost gonna do it. And then you just gotta keep folding it over, that's all. You get all that dry mixture on the sides. Mm. See all that side? Yeah, yep. that's it. And then you fold it over and drop it into it. So if these kids can do it, guys, you can too. <laughs> all right, so maybe we go to the hands now, Kai. So yeah. scrape all that off. Oh, it's very sticky. Uh, get mum to uh, um, flour up his hands. 
Yeah. Just a little bit. All right, now get your hands in there, Kai, and really scrunch, get that spoon, yeah, and then really squeeze it all together and mush it all in there. Jar, but we'll have to bring the bowl down to you afterwards. So I might I'll bring the camera in a bit closer too so everyone can see the action. Yeah, just Definitely have the consistency consistency of dough. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's still sticking. Yeah, that's yeah. Central. If you push it right down hard, you actually attack. Yeah, that's, that's push it. Push it down hard, you actually get all the other pieces of flour, the dry flour underneath. Right, Jav. Um, a little bit more milk, please. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Just yeah. Getting there. It's supposed to be pretty. Yeah. Okay. Spongy it's dough. It's quite a dense sort of bread too, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's enough, Jav. Yeah, see all the dry ingredients still in the bottom? So, Kai, you lift up all that, and then Jarvis, pour a little bit in there. That's yeah. Good. Uh, yeah, about that. Now put that on top. Oh, that's yeah, that's it. Now turn it over. That's the way. Reminds me of corn flour. Mm. And water. <clears throat> okay, guys, we are winging this, but we, are, we will get it. The benches are clean. The benches are nice and Always. clean, yeah. So we're just going to roll some flour on there and we're going to lay it out on the table and Kai's going to beat the living crap out of it with his hands and keep stirring it through. That's it. Now just roll it all, all over the flour that's on the bench. Yep. Yep, like that. Perfect. And then just keep, yeah that's it. Squish it and push it. Yep. That's, it. that's beautiful. And see how your hands are still really, they're still really sticky to your hands so. Yeah. It'll all come off once it starts to dry up. That's it. It smells pretty good though. Yep. How clean are your hands, Jav? Pretty good. You washed, you washed them, them? before we started, didn't you? Yeah, you washed them, that's right. Alright, we'll give uh give Kai, you get all the sticky stuff from your fingers and try to get it onto the, the dough for him. Right. All the bits off your fingers, yep. And then uh, I'll get you you can run to the bathroom and wash your hands. Yep. A few big clumps there still. Yep, beautiful. All right, Jav. All right, you can wash shot. your hands now, Jav. You can have a turn. Right. Very good job, Kai. Thank you very much. Okay, you lift it up for me, son. Just lift it up for a second. Yeah, it's pretty dense. It's meant to be a dense bread, so there you go. All right, chuck it down. Roll it over a little bit, and you really got to get right in there to uh, squeeze it. Squeeze that damper. Something very nice and hard. All right, Jav. Once, uh, once you've had your fun and beat the crap out of it. We'll get mummy to fold it all through and uh, get it. Yeah, it's looking good both. You can see now it's not sticking to his hands, which is the best part yet. Yeah, you gotta fold that's, it like that and then squeeze it all together yeah. and just keep doing fun. that. Let me show you something, John. Push it. That's it. Push it like Yep, and then you flip it in half again. Yeah. And squeeze. It's all about putting that extra bit of force. Like some of the kids didn't have a great deal of force to squeeze it through. Well, Jarvis is mummy, a little bit harder while he's on the stool. Yeah, that's you? right. Jarvis yeah. on the stool. Mum, mum standing over it. Yep. So she's be able, Nothing able like to. like wearing black and working with flour. Yep. There we go. It's looking really good now. Mm. Really impressive, actually. So I'm just going to finish up kneading it now, get it into shape. What do you think, Stephen? Looks good. So yeah, we'll just round him up to a bun size sort of consistency looking thing. Yeah, like that. And um, that's that's perfect actually. Looks really good. So I'll give you a bit of a close up on on what she does look like, but it's that's that's pretty much it. So we will uh, Head outside now. I'll go and check up on these coals and uh, I'll put it in and we'll see how we go from there. Thank you very much, kids, for your help. Jarvis, <laughs> he's got a crayon in his mouth. No, it's a, it's a lolly. And uh, thanks, thanks, Kai, for your help as well. So, Champ. yeah, Champions. legends. All right, cool, let's do it. Exciting. Oh, even Hope thinks so. Yep. All right, out you go, Kai. I'll follow you guys. Hopefully, that fire is uh, nice. And as you can see, Jarvis, Jarvis on his crutches. <laughs> Poor little bugger. And there's his little moon boot that I was telling you about. He's uh, Unfortunately, Kai spilled flour on it. Doesn't matter. Okay, son. Mm. In you go. 
All righty, let's go out and check on these coals. Hope, stay here. No. All right, come on, just make sure you close that door behind so Hope doesn't come out. So we, we do want Hope, but she's gonna be a bit of a menace. Get the before we do. Yeah, that's right. She'll do the, do the eating. All right, so Ashley, that's looking really good. Perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna take some of these coals and put them somewhere, probably on the rocks over here or something, and then we'll uh, chuck the damper on it. But for now, Perfect. I'll uh, set this up and I'll open up the lid and we'll, I'll get you to place the, the damper in the pot, Jack. Yep. Alright, there we go. So that's the damper, really hot. yep, yep so it's just quite hot. Plop it in. Right, I'm just going to plop it in because it's hot. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Drop that on. Awesome. Alright, so I'll uh, Get on to moving some of these coals somewhere else because uh, we don't want to cook it in the actual uh, flames because then you'll burn the bottom of it but we'll find somewhere suitable and uh, we'll do it from there. Right so we've got our nice coals here, they're actually really good. So what I can do is uh, take a shovel load, that's really hot. Right, so we're just going to bring bring the, uh, the pot over and just chuck it on top of the coals that I've just chucked into the, the veggie patch. And perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we're just going to get one load and chuck on top as well. Yep. Feeling pretty good so far. Mm. Okay. Right, so we're going to leave that for about probably 20 minutes or so. So I've got a layer on the bottom and a layer on the top, which is basically going to turn it into an oven inside it. So that will cook it uh, consistently. And like I said, I bring it out here onto the coal, uh, onto the soil out here and laid a, um, laid a bed of coals because I don't want to cook it in the fire pit because you put it in the fire pit and it's raw and hot in there and it will basically burn the bottom of it. And I want it to be like nice and consistent all around. So fingers crossed this actually does work, but We'll see how we go. That's pretty much how you want to set it up. So we'll uh, come and check it in 20 minutes time. Alrighty, there we go. I'm just uh, trying to get some more coals cranking because in uh, about another 10 minutes or so, we're gonna need to add a few more coals, I believe, just to uh, crust it up. But yeah, that should, should be going right. And you will see just there uh, in the actual veggie patch, I've got my oven just sitting on the coals just there so we'll check it very shortly but we'll see how it all turns out alrighty starting to lose light out here doesn't really can't really tell but it's getting dark but anyway it is uh, down there and it's glowing so that's uh, a good thing the fire pits cranking so we've got in about another 15 minutes or so to wait uh, whilst that that cooks and like I said Jackie is making a uh, chicken vegetable something or other <laughs> but Jackie is absolutely an amazing cook so we'll go and check up on uh, how her chicken chickens going and her chicken meal and she can uh, show us what it looks like and what she, what she's used uh, what have you what have you done Jack what have you got happening here you got some veggies I can see and uh, we've got some chicken on the go, so yeah, she's got some yummy, yummy looking chicken, so I'll some see in the bowl. Yum. Alright, and yeah, she's got some uh, pumpkin. What else you got there, Jack? 
um, broccoli, broccoli, some baby spinach, baby spinach as well, and some pasta. And some pa oh, that's what it is. It's a pasta bake. I said yes. chicken, chicken veggie thing. Yeah, basically. Yeah, but it's a pasta bake. So yeah, it's got to taste absolutely beautiful. Like I said, oh, Jackie. I hope so. I or, hope so. Well, I don't think. Well, not for a very long time have I had a uh, bad meal from Jackie. She's an amazing cook, like I've just said. And I'm not saying that just because she's here, but because she does, she cooks amazing. Her food is so yum. The kids absolutely love her dishes, just about every single meal she makes. I'm a king with uh, meat and uh, game, but I, I like I like the the meat side of things. But Jackie with chicken and uh, soups and all those sorts of uh, home baked meals, she's an absolute uh, legend at it, and she's really good at it. So yeah, she um yeah she's She's the, uh, what would you say, the apple in my eye, but oh. whatever it's called. Thank you, my darling. She uh, does a great job. <laughs> anyway, so she, uh, I'm a lucky man. Anyway, I'm uh, a lucky woman. Uh, even, both of us are lucky. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go and sit out by the fire for five, and uh, we'll go and check it again in a second and see how it's all uh, panning outside with the coals. I uh, might have to top up the coals now as well, so we'll go and, uh, go and suss that out as well. So Ross, I got you. I'm outside, but I'm uh, in my shed. So you would have seen a lot of my, um, maybe you would have seen some of my videos on this old girl. This is my uh, Holden Tirana. I'll give you a bit of a look at it. It's a massive work in progress, as you can see. It's still got a lot of work to do. But um, I've actually spent the last two days cleaning up my shed, which you can see behind me. Uh, this used to be all covered in rubbish and tools and everything so I managed to put all my tools up on my pegboard and uh, made a new little bench to work on moved all the stuff out the corner and the best bit about it is um, I've created this little room so what I did at the back of my shed which you wouldn't even tell it was there but uh, in behind this I've cut a hole through and um, I'll just turn the light on yeah sort of sees <coughs> and I made a little room out the back here and uh, I've just got all my stored parts and stuff like that for my Tirana out right here. So this is just created by uh, just a little lean-to to the fence. And like I said, I've cut a section out of my shed, which I'll neaten up later on. But yeah, this has just created a lot more room in here. And that's uh, going to be the way we can work on the old girl. So anyway, that's it. This is me. This is me shed. Alrighty. We're going to uh, sit by the fire now. Like I said, there's a... Thing still cranking along and we've got the fire burning burning quite nicely creating a few more coals for me so I'm just gonna chill out on my little uh, outdoor seating and uh, hope it's probably gonna jump up and coming up there we go hello she's probably gonna sit there you go. Okay. Oh. and are uh, we gonna just sit by the fire aren't we Gil yeah. Alrighty, cool. Alrighty guys, it's now dark, but uh I set up a light so we can see what we're doing. But um yeah, I'm gonna go check it. It's been probably 20, 25 minutes now, so what I'll do is I'll uh go and scrape off uh a bit of the coals, lift the lid, see how it's all uh going and uh determine whether or not it needs longer and if it does I'll uh move it off the coals and I'll uh lay another little bed there and probably if it's not cooked, I reckon maybe another 10, 15 minutes and it should be good, which is perfect timing because uh, I'd say uh, Jackie's chicken veggie bake is what she's calling it, is uh, almost ready. So yeah, it'd be perfect timing. So we'll see how we go. Tell you what, I can smell it. it smells good. Still got some nice hot coals on the top here as well. What I'm doing is just uh, pulling off some of these coals it's not going to get in there but I just want to do it just uh, I want to break it off and put new ones on if I have to
Oh yeah. <laughs> That's looking really good. Still a little bit spongy on the sides. But uh, yeah, I think, to be honest, I think that's uh, really good. I'll bring it over and show you. There we go, check that out, guys. Got a little bit of, a little bit burnt, so it got a little bit hot on the top there a little bit, but it actually looks really nice. I would think uh, maybe just a tiny little bit longer, just because the sides here are still a little bit spongy. So what I might do is just place some on the bottom and a tiny bit on the top and we'll go from there. But I reckon that's absolute beauty. You should smell it. If this was uh, smell vision you'd be in heaven right now because it smells so good. So we'll uh, give it a couple more minutes and I'll, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll put a little bit more on the top. Perfect. All right, there we go. So we'll give this, literally we only want probably another five minutes, I reckon. Now it's got that nice uh, new bed of coals uh, on the top. Uh, you'll notice I didn't put it in the middle where it was burnt. I sort of sat it around the outsides and the bottom, I couldn't tell if it's hot, if it's cooked or what, but um, yeah, I, I did lay a bed, but that's mainly to keep the uh, cast iron warm. And yeah, hopefully we don't overcook it, but like I said, I'm only gonna do a couple more minutes and I reckon it's gonna be perfect. So we'll see how we go. All right, I'm back inside. Jackie called me in because she said, come and check it out. It uh, looks amazing and it does. It smells really good. And I just checked on the damper jack and mm -hmm. it's like, looks beautiful. Awesome. And it's like probably five minutes away from being cooked, so. Okay, great. Well, the pasta's literally half cooked, which is where I want it. Yep. I'm gonna strain it out and then I'm gonna um, chuck this stuff in with the pasta and then throw it in the oven. Mm -hmm. And then when it's just about done, probably five minutes before it's done, I'll throw some cheese on top, put it back in. Yeah. Bob's your uncle. Yeah, it smells amazing. <laughs> it smells really good. Okay, <laughs> cool. Well, okay. I'm gonna go and, uh, I just said this um, damp is probably only five minutes away, so yeah, I didn't want to overdone. So yeah. I'm gonna uh, go and grab it off the uh, thing in a minute, but I'm gonna go sit out the back with Jarvis for a minute, and All he's gonna right, come great. chill out with me, yeah, so yeah, cool. All righty guys, we'll uh, head back outside real quick. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and sit with Jarvis, and um, yeah, give this uh, damper just a couple more minutes, and then it should be nice, and then I'll show you what it looks like, and we'll bring right. it inside. We're sitting by the fire, aren't we Jarvis? I've got Jarvis with me, and Hope's uh, sitting there as well. <laughs> she just loves chilling out here with the fire. She'll sit here all night with me, eh? So yeah, we're sitting out here with Jav. You want to um, say so how's your how's your leg feeling? Because I know there's a, probably a few um, people out there that might be a little bit concerned about you because you're always out adventuring with me. And, uh, know, with like, a broken bone, it makes things yeah. a little bit difficult. Especially uh, exactly, now. I just can't hurt. Yeah, so we're we're in the wars. I've just started to. Oh, I've almost finished now, and I'll be heading back to work soon. But I've just um, recovered from my yeah. knee operation. Hello. And yeah, and Jarvis obviously is uh, just oh. gone and broken his bones because he fell off his scooter the other day. And uh, yeah, we had to go and get an x-rayed. And um, yeah, they, they said he's uh, got a fracture on what? his uh, growth plate, I believe it's called. Uh, we we're gonna go see the fractal clinic uh, in a couple days, I think, and just uh, get a, their opinion on what it looks like oh. and see how it goes and oh. see if they will actually cast it. So uh, it was strange that the the, the hospital actually put it in a moon boot, but you'll see here if you can see it. I don't know. That's his little moon boot that he's got. It's a bit hard to see. And we just put that in there. That's just a uh, a sheet just to um, make it more comfortable. Make it well, more comfortable. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a pillowcase. Yeah, a pillowcase. But yeah, it was a bit sore for him. We're gonna do a sock, but uh, his foot's pretty swollen and it is black as anything. It's uh, it's pre really bruised. Yeah, it's pretty bruised in it. So yeah, it's uh, not not very good looking, but. Mm. Yeah, poor little bugger, he's been hurting a little bit lately, haven't you, bud? And I've uh, just been chilling out watching uh, Disney Plus with me, and we've just been both injured together, really. Like, yeah. just, uh, yeah, but just chilling out. So. At, at, at the same time, it's kind of good. 
Because, like, that means me and Dad, we both get to, like, actually hang out with each other. Yeah. Well, we do a lot of hanging out together, yeah, regardless. But, like, but you know what? It's, uh, it is really good to um, just take a break, <laughs> slow <laughs> down, slow down a little, and uh, just chill out because mm -hmm. sometimes life can get pretty busy and hectic. And I'm a uh, prime example of that. I'm always doing something if I'm not working around the house, like cleaning my shed, doing home you know, renovations, things like that. I'm out bushwalking, I'm out making these uh, YouTube videos and things like that. So it's good to just, like, tonight we're just chilling out by the fire, we've got a damper cooking, and we've been watching lots of uh, Disney Plus, Mandalorian, yeah, you know and would some be other really good movies. Good? What's that? It's um, marshmallows right now. Marshmallows, yeah. Well, we got the fire pit, so. Uh, at the moment, like I said at the start, or Jackie said, it actually is a uh, lockdown. Uh, in Western yeah, Australia yeah. at the moment, we had a COVID case uh, come through the other day, what? and we yeah. uh, they closed the borders really quickly, closed up, and said that uh, the Perth Peel region had to be in lockdown, so we're not allowed actually out. Well, there's you know there's restrictions on it, so we can still go and get our groceries and things like that, but you're not supposed to be out and about doing things. So like all the stuff that I enjoy doing, I can't really do. So we wanted to make this video just at home. Normally we would have done it out bush and uh, done a little fire, but it's actually nice and easy here. And it's gonna, like I said, well, Jackie said, it's gonna complement our dinner, which yeah. is gonna be great, so. We're kinda happy we're doing it here. Yeah, it's nice. If, even then, if you guys were to do it, I probably wouldn't be able to come because of my foot. Yeah, so we wanted to go for a beach walk, but even that's sort of a bit hard in crutches. Yeah, my but, uh, crutches, which is good. Yeah, that'd sink in the sand. Yeah. Anyway, I think it's time now that, um. Kai comes and joins us, so yeah, he's he's coming over, he's coming out the back as well, and I think uh, I might get him and Jackie here as well now, and uh, we'll uh, I'll show them these guys the uh, the damper, and I'll set the camera up, and we'll all go and stand around and have a look at it, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So, woohoo, I'm excited! Oh, it's the moment of truth, guys. All right, the reveal to you guys. You oh, wow, nice. Uh, Looks amazing. It smells great. Can I touch it? Yep. Yeah. So that's. Well, yep. Yeah, not swinging back. The way you can sort of tell is. Yeah. That it's, hollow. Sounds hollow. It's, it's, it might still be yeah. a little bit. Hey, I don't mind. I don't mind. Yeah, I reckon bit. it's better. I like, like it with the butter. Yeah. Like that. Actually, yeah, that's pretty Yeah, that's I like the butter absorbing right into oh, it. Oh, yeah. yeah. It is just bread. Wow, that is great. perfect. Awesome. Oh, it looks like a cake. <laughs> Alright, so I'll bring the camera over here, guys, because I want to. Yeah. I want to show the whole thing in the base yes. and stuff, so. <laughs> right, there we go. Uh, it is very hot still, but there we go, guys. There we... <laughs> it's uh, really nice, so that is uh, really good. And even the bottom, I was a bit worried that the bottom would be black, but it's not. It's absolutely perfect. That is a great damper so yep we're gonna take it inside now and uh yeah we'll uh show what jackie's got and we're gonna serve it up oh yeah look at that yo oh and then we're just gonna all right and then i always like to add a bit of paprika on top mom can we have chipotle instead yeah, that's a good idea. Chipotle would be nice. Okay. Oh, paprika and chipotle. Yeah, all right. Yeah. yeah chipotle we'll... is like the boys' favourite. Yeah. Anything. They add it to everything and anything. Yeah. I used to always call it chipolati. They make fun of me about it. Yeah. That looks really good, Jack. Thanks. So you can see all the veggies. The veggies in there. Now the little spritz of paprika. There you go. It looks really nice. Beautiful. We'll just uh, smash that in the oven now, yep. and then it will be ready very shortly. All right, there we go. We've uh, plated it up. Well, we've uh, brought it out of the oven anyway, so that's uh, Jackie's yummy meal. Oh, that smells delicious. This is incredible, and that nice yummy damper, and we've got some nice fresh butter, so I'll uh, cut it up, and uh, we'll give it a taste test. But that's it, guys. That's the, uh, the damper. That's amazing, and Jackie's chicken and vegetable pasta bake. Father, I want to thank you for giving us the money to buy this food, Lord, for us to make this food. And I, I thank you that you bless it into our bodies. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, guys, let's uh, 
let's uh, cut her up. I've washed my hands and I don't smell like smoke anymore, so let's uh, get a few of these nice pieces of bread. Yummy. So this is, hopefully, oh, yeah, that's cooked. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Look at that. Wow, that's yeah, that's so like warm. a really nice bread. And it, yeah, it's still nice and toasty warm. That's just a thick piece. Yeah. Delicious. It's not like cake too. Oh, it does it's it just like cake, doesn't it? Yeah. It's hard for your mind not to imagine it's like some It's not really cake. sweet, but it's also really mm. So what we're gonna do before we have our pasta bake and we I'll cut this up but no one wants to see all that. What I'll do is I'll cut up this into four pieces for both of us, for all of us. We'll put some butter on it and we'll give it a taste test for the camera and then we can say goodbye and uh get on with our dinner. Okay. Seriously, smells like cake. Mmm. Just wait, guys. Mm. Mummy? I'm joking, you might much better say that to me, Nice, I just won't have that one. Yeah. Right. Just say Jonathan. Jonathan. I'll have that one. <clears throat> I guarantee you'll want butter. Jonathan, I love butter. butter, sweetie. There you go, Kai. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to come over here so they can actually see me, but. Uh, we'll move all that out of the way. Yep. Anyway. Alrighty, let's give it a taste test guys and see how it goes. So Australian damper, uh, Australian tradition. We're going to test it out. Uh, yeah, and like I said, it's very Australian of us to be eating a, a hot damper on Anzac Day. And uh, yeah, we, we'll, whilst we have our dinner, we're going to be thinking about our uh, fallen, fallen soldiers. soldiers. So uh, yeah, cool. Let's dig in and try it. Mm. Mm. Tastes just like the jam I remember. Mm. We used to make all the time, even before kids. Mm. We used to go camping all the time and we used to make jam for the campfires. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Pre kids. So this is great. Mm. This is something you guys can cook in the bush flour, milk, salt, and baking powder. You can use baking powder, you don't have to. But something so simple and milk, yeah. Simple, easy, Australian mm. damper. Try it out, guys. We'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, I want to thank each and every one of the subscribers that have already been on my channel. So um, God, thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. So we're going to tuck into our dinner now, guys. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Stay moist. <laughs>